In this crazy world we live in today, I like to avoid the extremes. I don't tolerate one just because I don't like the other. I wear that uniform. A lot of my people on here too, my brothers. We all wear that uniform. Which one? There's a lot of shit we put up with. But at the end of the day, like everybody else, we still have a job to do. However, comma, I think I'm speaking for most of us on here. Don't ever f burn or step on the American flag in front of me. Mm. Mm. Who is this guy? I don't know. I'll put your f teeth on your mm. throat. I know, Jake. I'll Uger. stand over you as you take your last breath. Ooh. I don't give a f You know, there's nothing like forced patriotism. That's when you know you really love the country. And you know, the best way to back that up is with threats of violence. Because America, home of the brave and the free. I mean, not too free. Like if you do something I don't like, I'm gonna knock your teeth out and potentially murder you. So home of the slightly free, unless we're kicking your teeth in. Well, uh, I gotta say the guy with the sunglasses hat, he's a nut job, okay? And um, did he see combat? Doubtful. Highly doubtful. But then... So is it illegal to have an American flag on your car now? A kid was just pulled out of school for having an American flag on his truck. And this happened at a Virginia high school. And the school said he could not fly his American flags from the pickup truck to school and leave it in the parking lot. This is a direct violation of the First Amendment right. This is a public school and his family is very, very supportive of him. And they told the school that they would homeschool their son unless he was allowed to display his flags on the truck. The school is claiming that these flags are distracting. Also, these flags are normal sized and they're on his truck bed on flagpoles. He got his parking pass revoked this week after not complying with the school and showing up still with the flags on his truck. Something about the school banning American flags from a pickup truck feels so wrong. Wanna know what I think is distracting? Is having BLM and pride flags inside classrooms and teaching children Marxism. This is what absurd public school teaching looks like. So is it illegal to have an American okay. flag on your car now? I don't go for um, the extremes, okay? So here we basically see two extremes taking place. Uh, I'm not for either extreme personally. And yes, you don't have to commit to one side to oppose the other. Sir, you train him to do what? Train him to think of his unit before himself, to respect the code. What's the code? Unit, core, God, country. I beg your pardon? Unit, core, God, country. Sir. The government of the United States wants to charge you two with murder. And you want me to go to the prosecutor with unit, core, God, country? That, that's our code, sir. So? It's, it's your code. code. Yeah, and that code is extremist and uh, will not keep you out of prison, jackass. Idol worship. You don't really relate, do you? Let's try it again. I was watching TV the other day, and this show comes on with these religious fanatics, and they were crazy. Well, you would think they were crazy if you didn't understand their culture and their religion. See, that's just the thing. See, they were worshippers of idols. Priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy thing. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean.
Bullshit, I'm surviving. And they took things to extremes. They painted their bodies. They wore these ridiculous costumes. They chanted. They danced. They even made sacrifices to the idol. But they had built these enormous temples to worship their idols in. It seems like their entire existence climaxed into this one scenario. This one over-the-top act of worship. Idol worship. It's not only golden calves anymore. Hi, right, how are you, Lord? Good, how are you? You know, uh, how... you say it. Amagansi. Amagansi Press. You remember? Yeah, she watches your channel all the time, but she can't pronounce the name of your channel. Yeah, 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 that makes a lot of sense. Anyways, let's carry on to the re. Oh, no, the fraudsters just don't know when to leave well enough alone, and that's true of this fraudster as well. He's gonna stick around, and the owner comes back out. No, oh, dearie me. Well, you'll see what happens. I can only speak for myself, but if somebody were coming at me to do me bodily harm, I'd get out of town. I'd get out of the way. But not this guy. <laughs> he takes it. Hey, don't touch it, fucker. You, you should leave. You should, you should leave right now. Because you're a smart ass piece of shit. You just assaulted me and damaged my camera. Fuck. Well, I was trying to be nice. I got it all on camera. Good. Well, the little punk calls the cops and fills out a report. That takes up about the next 15 minutes. Let's uh, listen in to the last couple minutes here where the little punk wants the security camera footage from the business. <laughs> yeah, right. Roll that clip. Just got a quick question when you have a moment. Yeah, yes, sir. Um, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah no worries. Um, would he, did he mention if he'd be willing to cooperate with his uh, camera footage? He doesn't want to cooperate. He doesn't want to cooperate. That's no surprise. Okay. All right, thank you. There we go, the business owner from here did mention make You know what? I think I would take my chances with a fraudditor. I have never run into a fraudditor before, and I hope I don't, but I would try to stay out of the way and try not to be pestered by him, but after that, the line is crossed, and uh, I don't need to say any more about that. Uh... But I'm not always uh, considered what a what they call us a bootlicker. I would not put myself in the bootlicker category either. Dean applied to be a police officer. He failed his psychological exam. The testimony this morning starting with a psychologist who talked to Dean when he was applying for a job to be a Fort Worth police officer and did not think he was fit for that job. The results had suggested that he had a narcissistic personality style that would inhibit his judgment, decision-making, interpersonal abilities, and would make him more likely to engage in behaviors that could put himself and others at risk. Despite this finding, the Fort Worth Police Department hired Aaron Dean, but it wasn't until later into his career that they would realize their mistake. On October 12th of 2019, a non-emergency call was made from a man who was concerned about his neighbor, Bond, and upon their arrival, found a house with its lights on and front door open. He went inside the residence, creeped around to the back side of the home, looking through windows along the way to see what he could find. Court documents state that the owner of the house heard someone creeping outside, grabbed a weapon, and opened her blinds. Put your hands up! Show me your hands! The single shot fired by Dean killed Miss Jefferson.
Officer Aaron Dean resigned from the Fort Worth Police Department almost immediately, and just two days later, he was arrested for the murder of Miss Jefferson. Over three years later, Aaron Dean's trial began. During the trial, his personnel file was reviewed and showed that one of his supervisors wrote that he would be so engrossed with what he is doing that he gets tunnel vision and would not hear what's being instructed. And during the interview process, he was asked the following question. Will you be able to kill somebody if you have to? No problem. Um, so we got bad cops, we got frauditors. Uh, believe it or not, we can have good cops. They have to be properly managed, they have to be properly trained, and you have to get the proper people. They're out there. There are college graduates looking for work. Can't find any because they don't have the connections to get the job. But there are good people. America, we can do a whole lot better. Believe it or not, we can do better. And we ought to. Choose these magic words that f*** you over. Watch for the words mind if I. Mind if I search your car? Mind if I search your bag? Ah, tricky, tricky. If you say no, they'll say you didn't mind the search. If you say yes, they'll say you agreed to it. So repeat after me. I do not consent to any searches. That way they can't say you consented. Don't get caught lagging. Cops use these magic words to f*** you over. Watch for the words mind if I. And that's true, yeah. Um, the more you talk to the cops, the more you put yourself at risk. But the thing is, I mean, you got frauditors that uh, the cops don't deal with, usually. And you got cops that are, uh, well, I hate to say it, but the majority of them are not any good. And you got crazy fanatics. Um, what we need is we need to educate ourselves. And uh, you're not going to have a frauditor educate you because he's not educating you, he's lying. But anyway... Here's to tell everybody, America can be better, but we're going to have to do it. Not rely on the politicians, not rely on the cops. We're going to have to do it ourselves, and we're going to have to educate ourselves.